The fine people at Ride the Highlands recently published a new motorcycle adventure trail in the uplands of eastern Ontario. This 277 mile route, the Timber Trail Loop, avoids main roads, seeking out gravel byways and trails wherever practical. I've included a link to the GPX file in the description below. I only had time to ride the small segment between Bancroft in the heavily wooded Madawaska Highlands and Halliburton in the heavily wooded Halliburton Highlands. But as you'll see, it was a rather pleasant, wonderful, scenic and occasionally testing backroads loop. The part I was riding was a mixture of unpaved backroads, pleasant and quiet paved road and some sections of single track forest road. The route is designed to be manageable on one of the larger ADV bikes so popular these days. So of course, I took my own adventure bike, my 1972 Motor Good C Eldorado. Most of the time you're cruising along in the forest, concentrating on keeping the wheels out of the deeper gravel and the narrow erosion gullies. But occasionally the roads skirt ponds and lakes, and I usually stop for a few moments to enjoy the view.
Eventually the road spits you out onto the Elephant Lake Road for a few miles of paved road along the side of the lake. Riding back on the hard surface makes a pleasant change from the gravel, but before long we're back at it again. Whenever I post one of these videos that shows some back road travel, I'm always conscious that the camera makes it look as though I'm romping along. It ain't true. Most of the time I'm bumbling along in first and second gear, rarely making it into third. I worry that with all the technology pointlessly laden onto modern bikes, that some riders feel that they should be able to rip along and that their traction control and their fancy tires are going to make up for any deficiencies in common sense and riding skill. A crash along one of these back roads could be devastating, especially if, like me, you choose to travel alone. While backroad travel has its own set of challenges and dangers, most of them are manageable with a little restraint of the throttle hand and a small amount of common sense. Eventually, after many more miles of forest tracks and cottage roads, I reached the little town of Halliburton. Although it was a weekday, it was surprisingly busy. There's always that period of adjustment where you have to turn your focus away from keeping the wheels on the narrow road and watching out for washboard, washout channels and big rocks, and return to traffic mode where you try to gauge what each driver is going to do and be ready for anything. At least this guy had the decency to apologize as he went by. On the way home, I took a route I've rarely ridden before. It's always a delight when you find empty and entertaining roads and can just drift along at your own speed, listening to the clatter of the engine as you watch the trees flicker by. 166 miles to home and about a 400 mile day altogether. Wonderful. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and all that stuff. And uh, you may also like my motorcycle books. They're available in audiobook format and also as paperback and digital, you know, uh, Kindle. Thanks for watching.